Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Evil Genius 2 video. I'm still really enjoying this game, but it is October. Halloween is approaching, so I will be needing a uh, scary game before too long. I'll get back to that toward the end of the video, but here you can see we are interrogating an enemy scientist, and I'm pretty sure this enemy scientist arrived on the helipad, so up until now, as far as I, as far as I was aware, the enemies were just uh, infiltrating from the, uh, the dock side of the island. Here you can see uh, that dead body was picked up by this guy, and he is carrying it over to this incinerator. So yeah, the purpose of this video really is just to show you a few things I did not show you in the previous video. Uh, if you watch my channel for long, you will realize I do this. <laughs> <laughs> do this quite a bit I forget to say things here we have a couple of training areas that is the socialite on the right and the spin doctor on the left and these two characters will actively seek out enemy agents and try to uh, distract them which is nice here's our regular training room for our technicians and scientists and guards and valets when you send people out on missions, uh, they don't return. So you have to slowly replace your workers and then slowly uh, train those workers to be specialists. Over here is our cover operation, which is a casino, and we have some approaching investigators. Uh, I did not tag these investigators on purpose, and they are disguised. So they are approaching... Uh, approaching the lair here but when they get, try to go through the door they uh, they lose their disguises and they go play some slots for a bit unfortunately those two guards standing there are just about to go <laughs> take a lunch break so these enemies walk in they hit a trap and there you go there is a a freeze ray i totally forgot to show any traps at all in that previous video i think you start off with a uh, a trap that's like a punching like a boxing glove that pops out of the wall and punches them uh but then the first one i unlocked was this freeze ray i should have just left these enemies uh untagged to see what would happen but I decided to go ahead and tag them and uh, capture them here. And they are already under control. You can see people going around and repairing things. The main challenge, uh, well, not the main challenge, but one of the challenges of the game is to keep a good balance of workers. So you have enough people repairing things and you have enough guards. Here we have some more enemies infiltrating, and these actually showed up in disguise, which uh, this was the first time that I noticed this happening. It, it may have happened before. But if you pay attention, when these uh, characters are walking, you can see that they have a different sort of a stance than uh, everybody else. So we have four investigators in disguise, and we have two other ones that are not in disguise. These are from two different factions that are trying to uh, check out my operation here. You can see I'm slowly arranging things to uh, make them, you know, to force them to walk further <laughs> because the longer you can distract them, the more their resolve runs out and their skills run out. And then uh, once those things run out, they will leave. But this was, this is the largest number of uh, attempted infiltrators that I've seen so far. Th so I thought I would go ahead and uh, include this in the video. But my security systems are holding up. I have, uh, there are security zones. So you can set uh, security conditions. So I have, I have it set so that anybody that walks into my lair, if they are detected, they will be uh, escorted out into the casino. We have a guard room there to the side, uh, right there next to the entrance of the lair, where guards can congregate. But speaking of guards, here I am sending a bunch of them out. I think we are going to kidnap another scientist here. So I'm sending out 10 guards and two valets. And so I think at this point I only have 20 guards total. 
So I lost half of my security force temporarily. We are training some replacements as uh, the kidnapped scientist arrives on the island. But notice at the bottom of the screen, it's about to say Iris has engaged the enemy. Iris is my AI and she is walking around uh, personified in a robot's body. And I didn't realize anything untoward was happening right at first, but then I, I noticed something was amiss, so I paused the game and look at all these dead bodies. Something has happened. We have been infiltrated in a major way. There's a guy in a coat here toward the bottom of the screen, and here we have uh, some other enemy agents that have been identified. I have security cameras in this hallway here, so if anybody is working in the security room and looking at the security monitor, then uh, they would be coordinating our defense. You can see that the, uh, the super genius is actually getting in on the fight here. And then over here, the guy in the trench coat that I pointed out, uh, he is engaged in combat and he is about to disappear in a cloud of smoke. I have but one life to give for my country, but I won't give it today. So I thought that was cool. Uh, things have slowly been escalating, but we are now being infiltrated by uh, some more, I guess, some higher level agents. And I'm assuming that each uh, color coded region on the map will kind of have its own personality but uh, we can't worry about that right now we've got to get back to work and that means interrogating some agents here but uh, I feel like the key to managing those infiltrators is to manage the heat on the world map I know that's a really revolutionary theory <laughs> but that is kind of the thing you have to do and so you have to maintain enough cash and enough extra workers and sometimes enough intel to uh, to be able to manage those infiltrators by keeping the heat down in each individual area. You can see I have been uh, starting some criminal networks around the world, but there are still a number of areas I have not scouted out just yet. I still have workers that uh, decide to defect occasionally, but I think I'm doing a better job at keeping everybody happy. You have to keep their brain in good shape with these machines. They, uh, they raise the smarts of the workers. Here we have some planted evidence that I discovered. I just happened to see this. I guess the enemy agents must have thrown that down, and uh, if an investigator came along and found it, we would be in trouble. So those things raise the smarts of these uh, little characters. And then over here in this room, uh, we have this break area. And th these things raise the morale of uh, the characters. There's the control room. You can see I've closed this area off a bit more. We've got poison darts here in the hallway. I've got my freeze ray here now, and uh, you can see I made it a little bit tougher for the infiltrators to uh, throw a bomb over there on my generators. Here we have a, uh, a barracks and some lockers. The lockers are what increase your worker cap. So uh, I have one room downstairs so far, and then I'm also expanding upstairs. Here's my first nuclear generator and I'm going to expand this barracks right here because uh, you have to have people repairing things but you also have to have general workers to go around and do stuff and to send out on schemes uh, so as you train specialists you are losing workers so you do keep having to uh, expand your barracks area but never mind that. Here come some more investigators. Just two regular investigators, so no big deal. At this point, I don't really feel like I even need to uh, pay attention to these guys, really. But I realized in that first video that I speculated about uh, why these investigators would hang out as long as they did. So if we look at them, we can see that they have a skill meter and also a resolve meter along with their vitality. 
and uh, these different games of chance and these different areas in here will drain their skill or drain their resolve. This guy decided he needed a drink before he continued working, so some of his resolve drained right there. And then uh, when they stop over here and start gambling at the, uh, at the slot machines, that lowers their skill, I believe. And so if they run out of resolve or they run out of skill, then they will, uh, they will just turn around and leave. They'll go back out and wait for another boat. There's the security room I was talking about earlier. On-duty guards will congregate in that room, and then if I set off an alarm, they will get up as a group and run in and deal with any enemy agents that I have tagged. I don't know if they can... Uh, I think guards have a, a better chance of seeing through a disguise also, so even if they're just walking around, I think they can sometimes uh, see through a disguise. But this is an older game. Uh, it's a PS5 game, but it is an older game, so I don't know how many people care too much about this. I could make more videos of this just because I'm really enjoying it. But like I said, it's October. Halloween is almost here. So I need a scary game. Uh, I have read that Madison VR is quite scary. Um, there are others, like uh, there's an Exorcist game that I think was also on PSVR 1 that I never played, but there is a PSVR 2 version of that. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a scary game, and I don't know, maybe I would, I don't, I can't really live stream, but I could make a long video of just myself uh, with, you know, basically uncut gameplay and uh, being scared. I don't know if anybody thinks that's a a good idea, an entertaining idea, but uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other uh, possibilities for a scary game. There are a number of them that I have not played. I still have not finished um, Resident Evil 8, actually, but there's also a game called, um, I think it's called Paradise Hotel, Propagation Paradise Hotel, that's supposed to be quite scary. And scary games, as you would imagine, scary games in VR are just another level. They're, they are on another level. So let me know what you think. Uh, there was a game that came out recently called Into the Radius that everybody seems to be really, really liking. My first impressions of it weren't incredible, uh, but I think I guess I need to give it another shot because people really seem to like that game. So I guess I'll probably make a video out of that pretty soon. Uh, what else? I bought some other games that I still have not made videos for. I'm not sure they all deserve a video. <laughs> Sometimes I make snarky negative videos, but not often. But that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For now, as always, thanks for watching.